So one thing we wanted to point out, if you buy a larger reversible Weaver plate compactor, most of them are electric start. So I want to go through just a step-by-step -step as what it's going to take to get your machine up and running. Before you start this machine, there's three things you'll need to do. Number one, larger reversibles, you'll need to fill your battery with acid. Number two, you're going to want to check your oil. And number three, fill your tank with gas. 17 millimeter ratchet. Now that I've removed my dashboard, I got full view of my battery. You can see my terminals are removed. Now using a quarter or a large screwdriver, I'm going to open up all my ports on the battery. I've purchased my battery acid from my local uh, auto parts store. Now I'm ready to insert the long wand. Just want to be careful not to puncture this. You can keep it in the box, a little more awkward. So set it somewhere where it's not going to get punctured. The hose can drop down in the hole. And just a matter of getting that acid. Go through the tube. don't want to get the acid on anything. You can help it. As you can see, all the cells are filled with acid. Now I can go back through, put my caps on. To get those roughly on, make sure you take an old rag, clean off any of that extra battery acid. Keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of vibration going on. So you want that acid off there. The acid gets on the paint. It could uh, remove some of your paint. I'm going to remove that glove. A little easier. Now I can just tighten these up nice and tight. There is an overflow tube built into this unit also. And that's something too you might want to just keep in mind. You don't want that where it's going to be dripping out on the machine. Battery acid's full. Now it's time to hook up our battery terminals. If you can, put these in a strategic place. You can get a ratchet in there to tighten those up. Make sure they're nice and tight. Don't need any problems. Now I've done everything that I need to do underneath the dashboard. Now it's time to put that dashboard back in place. Okay, just watch these wires. Make sure you're not going to interfere with anything there. Don't want to pinch any wires. We can all get tucked down and back here. Sure, not somewhere where it's going to be hot. Okay. 
dome part of the washer is up. Get these started. There's a dashboard cover, rubber grommet here, two little locking tabs here. You're gonna to need to remove the key. Drops back into these two rubber grommets, closes up, and you can put a padlock in here if you wanna lock the machine up. Very simple, easy. Key goes back in. Check the gas. Nice little dirt protector. Check the oil. Now that I've charged my battery with acid, topped it off with gas, and checked my oil level, I'm ready to perform.